Hello and welcome to Tree Walker Talks, episode 35. Really? Now? Okay, well as you can probably hear my voice, or you will shortly, I am still a bit under the weather. Um, this thing's going around work like crazy. Everybody's sick. Um, I didn't get any worse today, so I think that's the curve. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Um, chemical induced sleep, and by chemical I mean like NyQuil, is not really good sleep, but it is making me sleep so I can sleep. So I guess there's some of it there, but it, it's that type of sleep where you have problems, at least for me. Like uh, I was dreaming about work and there was a problem and I couldn't solve it. No matter what I did, it wouldn't fix. And so then my mind's trying to figure that out, and that's the dream. And it just seems like you're not getting the mental rest. But let's go into the Homestead update. So the YouTube channel has surged way past 100 subs. Um, I mean, I think we were at like 98 on the last episode of um, Tree Walker Talks. And last I looked, we were like 153. It might be more now. So that's like crazy. Uh, appreciate it. Everybody who's uh, listening to this, everybody who's watching the videos, I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I keep uh, earning your subs and your likes. And maybe some more people will start commenting, too. I'd love to hear from you. I need a drink. Okay, this is an after-work one again. It is actually 11.06 p.m. on May 31st. So my brain might be a little addled. It might jump all around. It may make me talk fast, as I kind of noticed I'm doing. Projects. Um, I guess Homestead Update, there's not a whole lot. Um, we'll kind of get into some of that and the other stuff. But it's dry, dry and hot here, as it is for a lot of people. Um, extra hot, more, uh, more hot than normal. Let me pause this for a second while I cough. Okay, and I work in a cold environment, like 40 degrees freezer um, area too, which kind of makes it a little bit worse on me. But Okay, our projects. I did get the bathroom vents and the lights in. That was a lot of attic heat over the weekend and uh, kind of took its toll on me too um, got that accomplished they work good I still have to do a little bit of drywall cosmetic work there because the people before us were idiots um, instead of putting the drywall right on the um, uh, trusses or the beams going across they put furring strips down for some reason the kind you would use if you uh, like we're putting a drop ceiling in or something, so I, I'm not sure why they did that. But then the wood was right where they put the last um, fan. And so I can't put my fan there. Mine's square. Theirs was circular and was like supposed to be a flush mount, but it wasn't flush. So um, got a little bit of drywall repair to do there. Shouldn't be that bad, but everything's up and running and out of the attic before we hit the 90, so that was great. Um Okay, projects upcoming. And you know all the other projects. I really need to get to work on the auto watering systems. Um, get that done. I did get quite a bit done outside. Um, need to do some more gardening. Get that done. I cover that on what's growing, which is where we're at now. What's growing? We got the onions and the cabbage transplanted. Sorry for the breaks. I have to stop and get a drink because I'm talking so much. Um, the onions look good. I'll check them again tomorrow. Um, the cabbage is looking really good. I've got a few more of those to put in. I still have to put in uh, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, um, get the beans planted, that sort of stuff. Um, I did get all the beds cleared. Um, and all but two of them, I think, tilled and rabbit manure compost thrown on and tilled in too. Um, I don't do a no-till. I'm still working on getting the soil the way I want it. So as that happens, I am putting it on and tilling it. Now, some of them are actually under, like, a weed guard with, um, our fabric with, um, wood chips on top to help with the moisture in that. And that dirt, uh, that soil seems to be pretty good. Um, this fall I might pull back and redo it again. I know there's a lot of night crawlers under there, so that's really good for the soil. Um, okay, let's go ahead and jump into the main topic. Like I said, I'm not feeling that great, so this might be a little bit, uh, shorter of a one. I think every time I say that, it actually ends up being longer, but we'll see. Okay, the title of today is Really? Now? And let, let me tell you, um, I was trying to look for a topic for today, and I went through several different ideas. I'm like, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. And then I looked back on my day, and I thought, you know, I have to kind of talk about this. So we're going to do it on Really Now. 
and it's talking about inspiration. So, you know, inspiration comes at odd times. Um, I got inspired by a few things at work today. Not things, but just it hit me. And so it's hard to kind of stop what you're doing and write things down or do that at work. Okay, big coughing fit there. <coughs> but, uh, and it's hard sometimes, especially when you're sick, to keep in your mind what it is, the inspiration. And like tonight, it was actually a whole chapter of a book kind of came to me. And so I got most of it wrote down on my phone once I got to go to break. Uh, I have a lot of these, by the way. I don't have any books out yet, but I have a lot of openings or plots or that that I've wrote down for books. And I really need to start working on that. But it's hard to find time and the inspiration to do it. And that's kind of, like I said, what we're talking about. Inspiration, it seems to hit you at the worst times. Um, you know, when I'm at work, oh man, there's all sorts of things I want to do at home. And then you get home and then you're just like, blah. You know, you don't have the energy, the gumption, the motivation to do it. Or, in my case, a lot of times, you forgot what it was. So, like, my desk is a horrible mess. Uh... It never used to be this bad. I clean it, and then it gets bad again. I mean, I've got... Okay, I'll just tell you what's on some of it. I have the battery pack for the HTC Vive. I have corn seeds. I have a blood pressure machine, a trail cam, some boxes of gum, an old iPhone, a knife, uh, a valve for water, some cables ends for the generator so I can actually plug it right into the house oh um, let's see there's a crack windshield repair kit there is a bottle of comfrey oil waiting to be made into salve a bunch of papers a hat calendar pens another phone and it just gets kind of crazy but and post-it notes that's where I was going with this post-it notes everywhere because I'll get a, an idea or something and I have to write it down um, and then sometimes I look at them, and I know what this one is, but it, it just, um, it was my idea for prefabs, and it was like prefabs, bowling alley, pool hall, and then NVG underscore bridge tile dot underscore dot square zero one. And I know what that is. I don't need that anymore. Um, that was a tile I was working on to do a highway for one of the video game prefabs. Didn't quite work out. Let me pause you again. I do have a pizza in the oven, too. So, okay. But, you know, the inspiration. I mean, you can't, when your muse decides to come out from under the rock she's been hiding under, or him, or the closet it was hiding in, or just slap you upside the head, you don't always have a chance to write it down. I mean, the phones are great because you could do voice recordings on them. You could do notes. You could even draw pictures if you really want to. So it's really good, but that's the key. You have to make sure you make notes about it and then try to keep that passion, you know, because that's the the little intro I wrote for a story. Uh, it was very passionate, and a lot of times, I've said this before, a lot of times when I'm thinking about what I want to say or do, it helps me, like right now, I have my eyes closed. So it helps me not to look at anything around me. You know, maybe it's ADHD, I don't know. Um, I'm 47, never been diagnosed with it, um, been told maybe high anxiety, ADHD, uh, I forget what the other term was, the higher functioning brain, something, I don't know, but I usually have a lot of things going on, and then kind of like shiny squirrel, you know, I can see things and they give me ideas, so if I want to talk on a topic, a lot of times I will close my eyes, and I will see that topic, but when I'm writing for like that book, I close my eyes, and whenever I would read, you slip into it, so you actually get to see it and be it. And, you know, and I'm I'm in the moment of what I was writing down, and where this guy is in this horrible place, and it just it was very passionate, and it made me feel I'm actually getting back in the swing now. And there's another key: write notes in that, and then focus on it, and you may find the passion when it's a more suitable time to work on it, or you may not. Or you may lose the passion. That happens too. This does happen to other people too if it's happening to you. So don't worry about it. So we all need to work on our inspiration, our passions, 
and sometimes to try to see where we can get those passions to work out in our everyday life. Okay, hopefully this is a little something that makes some sense to you, and you enjoyed it, and it's not just ramblings of a sick, tired, exhausted, hungry, old man, older man, I don't know, whatever, it depends on what your age is, if you think me is old or not. Um, I'm starting to lose track of mine. Okay, we need to wrap this up. Stat. Okay, um, if you have ideas, you'd like me to answer some questions or that, you know, Send me a DM, send, join our Discord, do something like that, and let me know. Maybe I can answer some questions for people. Uh, okay, I'm just going to have to tell you, that's it. That's all I got. I'm breaking down. My mind's ready to shut off. Pizza's about done. It's time to go. All right, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope uh, maybe I inspired you a little bit. Okay, remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving.